Hello guys, Brandon Carey here, and today we are going to return to the racetrack to play more CTR, that stands for Crash Team Racing. But before we continue the campaign, I have now fully patched this game in the time between the last recording and this one, so we get to take a look at some of the shitty things Activision did. Um, specifically, here in the pit stop. So as you can see, this game has a lot of cosmetics in it. I'm sure you've seen that from from yes from the last stream last week. If you have, if you haven't played it already, uh, yes, <sighs> fixed Rillaru. Um, we'll we'll get to that in a second. Cause I don't really understand the the difference because there is a Rillaru and a fixed Rillaru in the um. In the character selection screen, I just I generally don't know the difference between the two of them. Um, it's probably something cosmetic, but whatever, I don't really care. I didn't like Rillaroo and Bash Bash, I don't like him now. Um, but to unlock pretty much most of the things in this game, you need to collect uh, Wampa coins. And um, for example, Fixed Rillaroo, Fixed Rillaroo is a new character for me to unlock. I, I don't have him unlocked yet, because I haven't, I didn't play during that um, Grand Prix. So if I want to buy him, I need 1,500 um, Wampa coins. Now, you get coins from beating races and playing online. Um, you get like about a couple hundred per match, I think. Um, but if you don't want to play online, you have to complete these challenges which also involve playing online. And like, um, there's a challenge for beating 12, for doing 12 laps in Roost Tubes, and to do that, you get 75 coins. And these rotate every week. These rotate every day, these rotate every week, these rotate every, I don't really care, probably also a week. Um, in lieu of the Grand Prix challenges, which they had prior to this, since that those don't exist anymore, that that's done. This game's um, online updates are effectively over. Um, so you can slowly, arduously grind up the currency to unlock these characters, or we could go to the PlayStation Store. How many coins can we buy? They... Well, at least they are telling me that a character is worth about... A dollar and a half? Two dollars? Also, Xenochrist pointed out how he can't... He doesn't like that he can't just buy what he wants. He has to wait for it to be in rotation. And actually, that's a problem too. That's a separate problem, but also a problem. Um, so what I like about this, and what I like, when I say I like it, I mean I actually hate it, um, is that, uh, the micro transactions were not in the original release of this game. They were patched in several months later. And to demonstrate why that's a problem, here is my copy. Here is my, my physical copy of the box of the physical version of this game that I own. That is in my system right now. I'm going to turn it over. Show it to the camera. And you see the rating for cartoon violence and comic mischief. You do not see the rating for micro microtransactions and in-game purchases. That's not there. Because when this box was printed... That wasn't a thing in this game. Activision sucks. But also, there is the problem where, like, uh, for example, I would like to buy Koala Kong because I'm into muscle furries. But I can't buy Koala Kong until A, I have the money for it, and B, it's in the rotation. Unless I want to just buy heroes until it, until he spawns, but that's a separate uh, problem 
related, but distinct from the problem of microtransactions in this game. But now that we've gone through that messy business, let's keep playing the game, the campaign. But it, it is, it's, it's hard to overstate how problematic it is that they did this, not just to the game, but to the game post-release. After all the reviews had come out, after people had started praising this game and saying, it's good, you should buy it, there's no microtransactions in it, only to like have that completely annulled uh, like two or three months post-release. Like everyone who's in the crash talked about that when this game um, was a thing was popular, and they were right too. It's just something that it's been a year, so people don't talk about it anymore. Before we go any further, let's switch characters because I want to play as everyone's favorite dragon. And let's play. Where is the dragon body? Yes, the Spyromobile. And let's give it. We have that dragon paint job. Yeah, there we go. I think we have some special wheels for these two. Yeah, there we go. Let's play with Spyro. That came out wrong. All right. When we finished last time, we were uh, ready to start a boss fight. Also, um, on, like Crunch, Spyro is actually surprisingly a speed character. So this won't affect the performance in the slice. It's just a cosmetic switch. But now that we've taken care of the mess of business, we can now actually continue the game, and we are going to do a boss race against Papa Papa, which actually, if memory serves, is actually fairly difficult just because of the, tr more because of the track that we're on and less because of anything that the boss has as a trick. Uh, like, it's, it's Papa Pyramid. It's, it, there are things that will just slow you up uh, and you just kind of have to deal with that. Um, so let's, let's get the ball rolling. Let's start this boss fight. I like the idea of boss races. Go. Fuck. Oh, shit. That sucks. All right, he he shoots a bunch of uh, of beakers at you. Oh, this is gonna suck. But thankfully, the AI uh, doesn't stray too far ahead of you, so we can fairly easily pass him. And as long as we stay a little ahead, or even just a slightly behind, like if he's if he's still within blasting range, that's not a not a big problem. Also, thankfully, the boss has the good graces to not lay a bunch of beakers in front of us when we're going up the uh, the the ramp, because that would be problematic if he did. Oh, shit. And hell yeah, we're playing a Spyro. Fucking hell. I hate this ramp. I hate it so much. I don't want the bombs, I want missiles. Yeah. 
Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh, damn, gotta restart. That was close. If we were- if we managed to avoid that plan, we probably would have actually won that race, actually. That was just some bad luck at the end. It happens. Oh fuck, it went the wrong direction. Alright, here we go. We got a game going now, folks. Oh fuck. Never mind. We don't got a game going anymore. Oh, that almost hit you. I must hit you, boy. Hold your horns. Here comes Spyro. Fuck. Missed the missed the turbo, but that's fine. Ooh. Power up. Fun fact, even though, um, the shield does protect you even from the plants, but it won't, it won't, uh, the plants won't eat, just won't eat you. Like, um, the shield is supposed to defend you against one hit. Um, and because the plants count as a hit, they, they, uh, Bye. You asked where Sparks was. There's your boy. There's your boy, Sparks. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, thank God. Yeah, they make Sparks your, uh, your mask if you play a Spyro. Because he's your defender, the way he is in the game. Weekend bonus? See, there we go, I got 80 coins for that. I love grinding for currency in, in games. But more importantly, Weeby Pop Pop got that key. Papu not himself today. Maybe Papu not eating a big breakfast. You are fast for being so small. Here's key to help. I love that the uh, the racer you use is just absentmindedly staring at nothing because it's just the idle animation. For you, him not as big, but him much more grumpy. But yeah, sparks your power up if you play a Spyro, which. The other thing I love is that in the Spyro track, you don't pick up Wampa Fruit, you pick up gems. And that, is, that was such a, a great touch. They really did nail this, this crossover. That, that was a really good crossover. That was the one Grand Prix I liked, and the rest were shit. Actually, that one was bad too. I just like Spyro, so I'm not going to put up with it. I also, um, in between this stream and the previous one, see if I can find an ex the example in this area. Hmm. I think it's on the, over here. But if you recall during the last stream, uh, we found a couple, like, uh, like one or two golden eggs 
in the uh, hub world. As it turns out, I looked it up uh, after the stream was over, and they are part of an um, unlock. Like they are part of a unlock. You need these to unlock a a no joke a a giant chicken. I'm not making that up. There is one state. There is five golden eggs total, one in each area, and you need all five to unlock the golden chicken. But enough, but enough about politics. Let's instead talk about the challenges. Because now that we've beaten Papu Papu, we can come in here and unlock the CTR tokens and relics for all these tracks. Let's do the rock race in Cocoa Park. This is actually a fairly tough race, if memory serves, because there's just there's not a whole lot of tricks you can pull off. There's no shortcuts, there's no, like, like tricky terrain that you can get a bunch of turbo off of. It's mostly just, like, how good can you power slide, and how accurate are you at getting those boxes. Which means that there's, there, it's, there's not much finesse to it. You either know how to do it or you don't. Let's see if I know how to do it. Odds are I don't. Thankfully, for the purpose of this stream, we're only going for the Sapphire uh, Relics. I don't have to prove myself to anybody. Whoa, well, that's a bad start. bother trying to go for those. Getting the three the, the box bonus here is really difficult to to pretty much impossible depending on like like how lucky you are. Oh I love missing boxes. Makes me happy. Like the 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 thing is that it actually is like it's incredibly important for you to get the uh, the freeze crates because there's just not enough time on the clock for you to to win even if you're just racing at top speed 100. percent It's just not possible. You do need to freeze the clock, otherwise you won't be able to beat the challenge. Let's see if I can. There we go. That's that's something. Oh uh, no, that that was a waste of time. Let's go for this three. Worth it. Alright, we got it. We got it. We're good. Just Sapphire, but we're good. I did better than my last time I tried this. Nice. Coins. I might have coins at the end of this to buy fixed Rillaroo, guys. They fixed him. I don't know how, but they did. I love this game. This game is bad. I love it. At least I can play a Spyro now. That's that's all that really matters. Uh I guess Chris didn't set that alarm that he said he would. But that's alright. We we're good. We're good. 
Let's go back to Cocoa Park because we have a CTR challenge to do, guys. This one should be pretty straightforward. There shouldn't be a whole lot of frills to he frills here. Uh, we should be fine um, so long as we actually like like the the trick of these are always like finding where the tokens are and how to get to them. <laughs> so let's see if we can get to them. Loading times in this game are, are pretty severe. Guess they didn't fix it the way they fixed um, the loading times in the Insane Trilogy. I'm actually kind of surprised to, to see that. I really should have um, gone out of the way. They really should have made some effort to fix the, uh, the load times. Why is that golden? For the sake of convenience, we'll call this form Golden Item Box. What the fuck? What is that? Added some weird shit to this. Oh, you son of a bitch. Uh, that's alright. I'll use the clock. I don't see a T. That's ignoring everyone on the track. So, what is it supposed to do? There's the T, which means I just gotta win the race at this point. I'll probably never get a missile, so gotta rely on just good old fashioned racing to get ahead here. Oh, you son of a bitch! I knew it! Why do they always have missile missiles and I never get them at this point? That's kind of annoying. That's kind of annoying. Now let's do it again. At least I'm grinding for those coins. <laughs> they were too busy adding microtransactions to fix the load screens. Oh, Xeno Christ, that is so true, it hurts. Get out of my. Oh, you. Vile creature! I'll have to get that tea later. Fuck you. And your whole family. Nice try. Hold your horns. Here comes Coming through. I have a defense against the next uh, missile that comes my direction. My goal is just to flood the 
full track with things that could possibly hurt people. Okay, the uh, the glowing boxes are gone. So... Oh, Automod, I love that you're... You're mad at Xenochrist for quoting what I said on screen. Um, once we're done the race, I'm going to approve that, Xenochrist. But uh, Automod... Automod is, is being a goof goober today. Allow... And now we have a CTR token. Ah, <laughs> oh, probably was a little harsh, but in fairness, she hit me. She deserves it. <laughs> oh, boy. This game awakens things in me that are both... Pleasant and terrifying. Sometimes at the same time. But that does mean we're finished with Cocoa Park. Um, at least for now. And it's time to go on to other stages. Also, I love this victory uh, pose for Spyro. It's, it's, he is so cute. He is so cute. He's the cutest. Papu's Pyramid. Although you get a little tired of the dragging your feet line after a while, because you notice that's his only win quote. So they should have put a few more in to sprinkle it in. Because all you ever hear is, uh, you could have beat me if you stopped dragging your feet. He, he needs more quotes. That is a problem because you hear this because he has a very very limited set of, of of lines to use in the middle of a race. <sighs> but I know it is Tom Kenny and he's doing the Spyro thing and you really can't you really can't complain about that. Good old SpongeBob. We didn't seek our challenge first, because I actually, I, I... I don't think this one is hard. Oh, it is a nice pun! I, I, and I, I approve of the pun overall, I just wish they had more than that to say. Like, you, like, I love puns, but I don't want to hear the same pun repeated ad nauseum for an hour. Oh, you son of a bitch. Make sure there's no letter there, and there's not. Okay. I'm going to try it. All right, we got the uh, we got the C. The T, I have I have faith in myself. Now I just need to know where the R is. Oh, there's the R. I have to make a hard turn here when we get when we uh, come back for lap two. Oh yeah, the SpongeBob PVA has done Spyro since Spyro 2. It's it's uh it's one of those things where like you just Oh yeah! Funny coincidence. That I knew I had I knew I had I could get that that no problem. So now I just need to get this. There we go. A little lost in momentum, but we're still far enough ahead where that doesn't matter. Oh yeah, it's um, it's one of those things where you like you you 
realize growing like you realize things that growing up seemed like they should be obvious, but because you were a kid, you just didn't get it. Like for me, realizing that um, Eric Sparrow from Tony Hawk's Underground was played by Young Xehanort from Kingdom Hearts, that was a mind screw. Some of them are pretty easy, like, um... Yuri Lowenthal being everywhere is pretty easy to spot. Because he has a very distinctive voice. But there are some that are, like, a lot trickier than others. And that was, uh... That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Oh, wow, we're ten seconds ahead of Coco. Nice. And now it's time for the Relic Race. And those can be a little tricky depending on, on where the box placements are. Sometimes I want, I want to ask, like, what is your favorite, like, weird voice actor fact? Like, um... For me, it's realizing that Yuri Lowenthal plays a lot of generic army dudes in, like, Uncharted and Call of Duty and whatnot. Like, often they'll have him do various miscellaneous voices. Because he has... Well, I don't want to say he has a good Russian accent, but he has something that sounds to an American like a Russian accent. And that's close enough, even if it's not good. But the more you know. <sighs> Another race against time. Entropy would be proud. Except not, because I never did those time trials to get to unlock him in this game. Even in the original PS1 version, I never bothered to do that, because I just didn't want to. Yeah, Sa same Xeno Christ. I I got a hundred percent as far as I I unlocked. I like I beat Oxide the final time in the final race, but I never once um I never once did all the time trials and all of that. So like I can't really be qualified as a hundred percent. Putting time crates in front of piranha plants is just abject cruelty, and I will not stand for it. Um, I did the secret characters because, mo like, aside from entropy, which I, I just didn't care to do. Um, all of them were unlocked just by, like, 100% like, getting the, the the gem races and all of that. So they weren't too much of an ask. But, I otherwise, I'm, I'm completely with you there. Well, that was a failure. We're gonna restart this. I need to learn to not go through some bo certain boxes. All right, good on ya. Good on ya. That was actually, yeah, that was actually overall worse. Clipped ya. Whew. 
Whew. Those pea plants are terrifying. behind this plant. Get that time. Oh, fuck. That sucks. We might actually still be fine, though. Oh, I missed a ton of crates. My real only shot here is to get a lot of crates in this last lap. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, we got it. We're good. We're good. I, I'm actually... That was actually a pretty good final lap. That was actually not a bad final lap. That was a lot a lot better than I was afraid it was going to be. I, I actually thought I was going to miss that jump to get that three box through the shortcut. Didn't do as well as my previous time, but that's fine. Doesn't matter. It's weird replaying this game when you get to actually like watch your previous times and like see how much better or worse you did compared to back then. It's weird. Um, uh. It's really good to be playing this game. Like, I, I don't know, I don't know if it comes across on stream, but it feels really good just to play this game in your hands, have it in your hands, and just like maneuver your cart. That feels really good in this game. I love that for just a moment he he does go through the iconic spiral pose. Oh, I remember this being a pain in the ass for a PCR challenge, but we'll see how that changes. It wasn't as good when I went through this the first time um, as I am now at the uh, the power sliding. At that took I had to I I was learning that mostly on the fly. So, one of the things that kind of sucks about streaming is it's actually fairly warm in here right now. But because uh, turning the fan behind me on would cause audio problems, like you'd hear the fan on my audio, I can't turn it on unless I want to give you a shitty experience listening to this. So I am sweating quite, like, you don't really see it because my forehead's still kind of dry, but around here, like, there is, there's a bunch of sweat coming on, and it's not, not the, that's the best thing in the world, but also, like, it, it, it could be a lot worse, to be honest. Oh, I didn't get that C, that's fine. It's a pretty easy one to get. Oh, come now. That's just rude. I expect a written apology. How do you already have 10 Wampa Fruit? Being a little PO'd because everyone keeps hitting my boxes.
I'm gonna start restart that. Didn't get a single fucking letter, so there's no point in me continuing that race. At least I know where they are now. Okay. Okay, now missile me the moment I get in front of you, because that's what you're going to do. Fuck, did not get that T. Let's go for the R at least. Fuck. Let's try it again. I knew it! I KNEW WE HAD A FUCKING MISSILE! Oh my god, this is frustrating! That T is also really frustratingly placed. Cause you kind of have this, you have to make like a hard stop to get it. You can't just get it on the way. Here's what we're gonna try to do. We're gonna try to focus on getting the letters first. And position be damned. I'm going to toss my cookies? We're going the wrong way. I don't care. I need the tea. And getting it early means I can get access to the, the powerful weapons later on. Okay. Let's try again. There we go. We got all the letters, which means... And we are in last place. But that could be to our advantage, because the people in last place usually get the best weapons. Like so. Nice try, Crashy Poo. Oh, yeah. I think we got it. Something truly terrible happens in the next two seconds. Maybe you can beat me. You <sighs> nice try. That was a little, that was a little annoying. But we got it. No challenge unlocked. We can't get, we need the challenges to get more funny money. So that we can turn it into the corporate store. For stuff. My hair is ridiculous right now. It really is. But, you know, that's fine. 
That's fine. We're just chilling, playing Spyro. I'm sorry, playing Crash Team Racing. Oh, what are you talking about? We're playing Spyro effectively. This is a Spyro game now. It's Spyro Team Racing, STR. So that's that's that is my proclamation. Featuring Crunch. Not Crash. Crunch. Spyro Team Racing. Yeah, that that's it. We're doing it. We're doing it, boy. It's what it is now. We're doing it, guys, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we're doing. Spyro Team Racing now. You now, what I should do is I should uh, I should change the title when I upload this to YouTube to Spyro Team Racing for this episode only. I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> it's a bad idea, but I'll do it. Because the algorithm might not like it. I don't know what the algorithm likes. I'm just a hobbyist. I don't actually care about views. I stream because it's fun to play these games with a small audience. I could care less about my actual view count. I'm sorry. I couldn't care less about my actual view count. Uh, that... The, the could versus couldn't actually changes the meaning of that completely. Because... Could care less implies that there is a level of caring that is there. But if you say you couldn't care less, that means your care level is at zero. And somewhere, um... Aunt Josephine from a series of fortunate events is lifting her lid that I said I couldn't care less. It's like, um, when people say they're holding down the fort, but what they actually mean is they're holding the fort, as in, like, a military position. They're holding the fort. You don't hold down the fort. But I digress because these are ultimately things that no living person actually cares about. Someone will tell you that that matters and that they'll care. They don't actually care. They're lying to you. And they're lying to you because at the end of the day, they're lying to themselves. Something in their mind is saying, oh, this grammar matters. It doesn't. It doesn't actually matter. And in fact, when you talk about grammar like this, people like you less. Like you in the audience, as you're listening to this, you are liking me less because I'm caring about grammar. But not actually. I'm just saying that I do. Oh, wow. We saved uh, a lot of time off our record. That's deep, bro. <laughs> I thank you for that, but that wasn't that was that was surface level. That was just me filling in air with empty words that mean nothing. They sound like they mean something, but they mean nothing. Uh, but I do thank you for for humoring me. I appreciate that. Um... <laughs> It's hard um, to really talk, like, I, as much as I love this game, it's hard to talk about it uh, when I'm having fun, because, like, this is the loop. You get the trophy, get get the trophies, get the key, then do the CTR, and, um, and Relic Challenges. And I'm all, I, like, these, these early game tracks, I have no complaints about. They're mostly fine. I actually think, I, I, I'm going to actually say they're, they're mostly good, actually. Um, and so, like, when when you're talking about this early game stuff, there's not a lot to say beyond I am enjoying my time here. And I am. I, I am genuinely having a good time playing this game. What I like about this stage, though, 
and about the CTR challenges in general, is that they do kind of, like, they don't completely, but on some occasions, they do go out of their way to show you, uh, like, things like shortcuts that are pretty important to know when going through these tracks, especially online. Like, to complete a CTR challenge, you have to have some degree of knowledge about the track you're going on, because that is... Because all of the hidden nooks and crannies are potential token or, or character locations to, for, for one of the three letters. And so the best way to win these challenges is just to know the track. And so by completing a CTR challenge, you are learning things like the shortcuts, uh, the places you can make tighter turns. Oh, that, that Musketeer Pura skin, that is really fucking cute. That is really fucking cute. I I I genuinely enjoy that. That uh, that is endearing. I did not get that C. That sucks. There is the golden glow, and we are going to get the R. This is the one I was actually afraid of missing. So, I'm okay with missing the other ones. The important thing is that we do get the R, because that is very dependent upon getting a weapon that can break that wall. If you don't, you just miss it. And I, that, that does kind of suck that I didn't get that T, because it means I gotta get it on the final lap, but I did get the C. And that that is good. I'm, I'm really curious what this, what these, uh, are supposed to do. Okay, so you're supposed to, like, race them and try to collect them? What does that accomplish? cut through and take a little detour. <laughs> See that? Jump to turbo and then use the turbo to power slide thrice. That is that is fucking beautiful. That is technique right there. That that is what keeps me ahead of the of the of the game. Maybe you could beat me if you stop dragging your feet. That felt good. Oh wow, six seconds ahead of crash. Like in this game, six seconds is a lot of time. And that means we got to get one more relic, and then we're off to world three. To get some more trophies. Actually, no. No, we have a crystal run after this. Holy shit, that's going to suck. The crystal runs are probably my least favorite part of Crash Team Racing. They're not fun. But... I see why they're here. Because you have these battle arenas, and battle mode is actually a ton of fun. Uh, that's something that my, that my playgroup and I played a lot when I was a kid growing up. Like, we would c come over to my house, someone bring the multi-tap in, and we would play four-player battle in CTR. Crystals, of course. <laughs> Don't! And so, like, they need to find some use of these battle arenas for some, for some campaign content. So they might as well, um, put, like, a Crystal Rush in there. Although, now that I think about it, there is actually a fun story about the campaign to Crash Team Racing. Which is, um... 
why the game even exists in the first place. So, this game, CTR, the original PS1 release, the intention of this game was to salt the earth. Um, Naughty Dog wanted to jump the shark with Crash Bandicoot so thoroughly that no developer could come after them and make another Crash game. And to do that, they thought, what's the most ridiculous thing that we could do with Crash? And someone said, a kart racer. And that is how CTR was formed. It's because it was the most absurd thing that had the highest chance of just salting the earth. Didn't miss the two box, that's okay. And that is like, the other thought was like, what is the most ridiculous villain we could put in a game, in a racing game? And someone said, an evil alien who is intent on turning the whole world into a parking lot. And so that that is it. That is the story behind how CTR was formed. It is literally a desire to prevent what would later become the hell that is uh, Crash, uh, the Crash series after Naughty Dog. Um, I'm sure you, Xeno Christ in the chat, are all too familiar with what happened to Crash Bandicoot uh, between the remakes and uh, and this. And yeah, that's the funny thing. Their attempt to salt the earth created a fantastic game that spawned a sequel that was not as beloved or as good as the game that they created. Now, I never did. But Xeno Christ. Did you ever play Crash Boom Bang? And if you did, could you tell me what you thought of Crash Boom Bang? Because I need to hear... Okay, you never did either? Great. Because I hear that game was fucking dog shit. Oh wow, I did a little better than my original time. Oh, I got a challenge. I got the perfect start challenge. I assume for perfectly starting. But yeah, like, um... I actually like Wrath of Cortex, so... Wrath of Cortex and Twin Sandy were pretty good games. But then, like, once you get... Actually, no, Crash Bash exists, and Crash Bash was bad. I played a lot of Crash Bash growing up, but in hindsight, Crash Bash was bad. Um, I only know about Crash Boom Bang because people talk about Crash Boom Bang in the list of, like, terrible Crash games that came out in the wake of Naughty Dog, like, giving the license fully over to Vivendi and Activision. Um... Like, Crash Bash being bad doesn't delete the fun I had with Crash Bash, but it just, like, you have to not, like, I have to acknowledge a game that I like actually isn't very good, or I liked back in the day actually isn't really good, it doesn't hold up at all. Um, I'd probably play Crash Bash before I played uh, another run of Crash the Titans or Crash, um, Crash Mind Ever Mutant. Not because those games are bad, they're actually just mediocre. But they're also really excessively boring as a result. Like, they're not bad games or eminently playable, in, in j j but they're just really... There's nothing to them. There's just a lot of nothing there. I don't recall liking this challenge very much.
Oh well. Crash the Titans bug the hell out of you. Yeah, I, I I don't I don't blame you there. It it is a thoroughly generic and bad and frankly kind of bad game. Well, not bad. It's just there's no, there's no meat to it. Yeah, the redesigns. Um. The redesigns are bad. Um, Tiny's design in that game is bad. I actually, I don't mind Crash the Tattoos. It just kind of like, it doesn't look right. But like, some of the things they did with Crunch and Tiny and Uka Uka, those designs really just didn't work. Like, they didn't even feel like they captured the essence of the character. And in Tiny's case, they rewrote the character completely. Like, he just wasn't the character of Tiny that you remembered him being. In, even in spirit. Um, there's a fucking Mike Tyson-ass wannabe. I'm gonna do that a lot, aren't I? I never like these challenges. Fuck. I'm not gonna make it. Time on these are so fucking tight. Whoa. Man, I got torched. Yeah, tiny. Good god, what they did to tiny was a fucking travesty. <sighs> Alright. for this one. Turn. Jump. Get you. Get you. Jump. Miss. That sucks. We have another chance. I messed up towards the end. Alright, and... One... Two... 
jump and turn. Jump and turn. And collect. And five. And six. And break. Seven. Eight. Miss. Nine. Ten. Okay, good. Eleven. Twelve. That's fine. Oh, that sucks! Oh, I hate this! Might have enough time. It's gonna be close. I probably could have gotten it if I had hit that trophy. There's one. Where's the last one? Where did I miss this one over here? Fuck. Looks like I've got some things to do. Huh. <sighs> Jump and turn. Jump. Grab. 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 One. Two. That one, and that one. We're making decent time now. Okay, I know where the last four are. One, two... Yeah, we got it. Three... There. Maybe you could beat me if you stop dragging oh, thank feet. God. That actually isn't that hard once you know what you're doing. Once you have the path down. That was that was kind of annoying, though. I'm getting fewer coins. You notice that? I was getting 80. Now I'm getting 40. Microtransactions. Yeah, it looks like the key to these kind of challenges is just getting the pathing down, and once you have the pathing down, it's it's perfectly fine. Which does mean we are prepared to do the next series of challenges. Time to go for more uh, trophies. We're already halfway through the game, more or less. Well, a little under halfway, actually, because there's still the challenges, the post-game challenges that we still have to do afterwards. But we are making very solid progress. And now we are at the third world. The snowy world. And I actually... I enjoy a lot of the tracks in this world, except for one. No, oh, one and a half. Because the, there's a track that I, I don't hate, but I don't like. Um, but there's two really good tracks in this state, in this area, that I, I adore quite a bit. Both of them tend to be winter-themed, and you'll find that that tends to be a thing with me, as I do tend to enjoy winter-themed stages in video games. Like in Jack and Daxter 1, my favorite level is probably Snowy Mountain. But, what can I say? I have a thing. I have a thing that I like. Ooh. 
Glacier Park area. Yeah, I, t I, I tend to like the cold levels. I guess uh, I'm a gray wolf, so like I, I, my pelt is quite fine in the cold. I can't really explain why I like winter-themed levels a lot, but it's just a thing that Growing up, I've always had a uh, fascination with the cold. Also, this level is pretty easy to get a bunch of uh, really good um, power slide bonuses going. Ah, uh, you love your fire levels more, so... That's good to know. That's pretty cool. Together, we're fire and ice. Look at this driving, folks. I love drifting into the into the turbo slide. That is a feels good. Oh well. We're pretty far ahead. See how far ahead we are from Cortex. Five seconds is quite a bit of time. And we are on normal, admittedly. Like, we're not playing on hard mode. Um, but I still feel proud of, like, being able to do that. Like, there is, there is a certain, like, prod you develop at at getting when you get good like visibly better at a video game and it's not like the character number going up it is you as a player getting more skilled at what you're doing there's a good that, that that's a that's a f good feeling that's also a good feeling is having off tomorrow for labor day uh, for you and the who watching this on YouTube, this, this will be a week later, so you won't know this, but or you won't care about this. It'll be irrelevant. But for me, I have off tomorrow on Labor Day, which means I get to play more video games once the stream is over, as opposed to going straight to bed. Uh, which I am happy to do. Oh, well, this is Dragon Mines, isn't it? I am not a fan of this level. Well, there is exactly one part of this level that I do not like. And if you've played this game before, you probably know what it is. Assuming this is Dragon Mines, so I actually need to get a look at what area this is. Um, I know it's in this stage, Dragon Mines. Or it's in this world that Dragon Mines is a track that is un unlocked up ice cream that's disgusting to do it on stream uh my apologies folks i said the mic didn't pick it up yeah this is dragon mines komodo uh the komodo brothers level So this is the part I cannot stand. 
this, that particular, I have, in all the many years I have played this game, I have never figured out how one is supposed to, to pass that area while maintaining their speed. Thank God for the missiles having a set distance. Oh no! Fuck. He's not losing much. I haven't picked up a single fruit yet. Yeah, the trains suck, but, uh, that's just a typical racing game obstacle. It's, it's the, uh, that circular area of the stage that I find I have not just been able, I've not been able to master. Oh shit, oh thank, thank god. So if a missile ended me now, I would be so fucking furious. Cool. First time. That I was actually genuinely surprised to see. First time is good, though. We'll probably actually end up being the boss for this stage when we're, uh... Before the night's over. We might actually beat Komodo Joe. Who is the boss of the third area of the game out of four? There's only four worlds, unlike the usual Crash, which has five worlds. I mean, I don't think there is the final area, but there's not really uh, levels there. There's just, um... Or even trophies. It's more of a bonus area than anything else. And we'll get to that in a second. Or, well, not in a second. Like, when we finish the rest of the campaign, we'll get to the final area. The bonus area. I like that Christmas skin for Coco. Congratulations. You win a trophy. My favorite area is... My favorite level is coming up next. Um, I think... Yeah, Polar Pass. This is my favorite stage in Crash uh, Crash Team Racing. I really like playing this level. Which is why I'm going to be embarrassed when I lose the first, when I lose over and over again and don't get the trophy my first time playing. As eager as I like, as much as I love playing this game, I'm also eager to get right back into fix it when I'm finished. After getting a water and uploading the last week's um, video to YouTube for people to watch, I've been enjoying the hell out of that game. <laughs> I'm in Heaven's Word right now, being the first expansion. That's a cool skin for Polar. A robot skin. Where's that Pura, actually? That's probably Pura, not Polar. There we go. Jump. Jump. Slide. Combo. Jump. Drift. Jump there, and that is a flawless way to get through that. I don't think I'm, I got enough speed to do the shortcut, but I might give it a shot. Oh, no. Missed it. That sucks. Oh, that sucks. Oh, wow. 
thankfully, the nature of the track, plus the nature of being in last place in a kart racer, means there is plenty of time to catch up. So we are not, we're, we're far from out of it. Of course, that is predicated on me getting a power up at some point. Or maybe I don't need to. Maybe I can just race. So I'm actually. Oh, fuck off, Seals! Watch me get embarrassed that I can't drive in this track. Ugh. Yeah, there we go. So I needed. There we go. We got it. We're gonna need to do that again for the CTR challenge. So it's good to practice now. There we go. Let's let's do some tricky shit. Jump, jump, slide, slide. There we go. That is speed. Lost focus for a second, almost fell off, but I didn't fall off. There we go! Twice! Got it twice! It's a good shortcut to get. There we go! See how far we are ahead of them. Thirteen seconds. Thirteen seconds. Hell yeah. The peace sign is V for victory. Doing great. The loading screens are long. I like that tiny skin. I like that the campaign has now become one giant advertising advertisement for microtransactions. It kind of sucks that, like... I do want to enjoy these skins they've added to the game, but the fact that there's microtransactions kind of stunt dampens that quite a bit. That I'm reminded every time I see, oh, that's a cool skin that I have that I that they want me to buy it with with real world money, but not actually buy the skin, buy the coin I would need to buy the skin. And once we do this race, we'll be able to fight the boss. Race the boss, which should be Komodo Joe, if my memory is right. And I've played this game a lot, so it should be. And then we get to start, maybe, we might even have time to do some relics and trophies, depending on how long this race takes and the boss race takes. Some relics and TTR tokens. Now, this is a track that I... I feel like I should be better than I actually am. 
because it's Like these hills make for a lot of really good jumps. And there's a lot of places where you can get some good boost. But for the love of me, I'm not particularly great at this stage. Show me how it's done. Need that boss, need to get some coins. Fruit. Fitting the Crash and Coco or fighting Spyro for top for top billing. There we go. Now that I'm free of those two clowns, we can start playing. I like putting those nitros in tight spaces because the odds that one of the AI is going to hit it is basically 100%. Whoa. Oh fuck! Oh, that sucks. That might have been mine. No, that wasn't mine. I didn't have a, a beaker. I have the nitro. Nice try, Coco. I see you. Give me for going silent a bit. Um, uh, this is a little hard. It's harder than it looks. Getting these uh, these jumps to try to get as much airtime as possible so I can keep my speed as high as possible. So forgive me for falling silent a little bit. But this is a track that does require me to focus a little more than I would ordinarily need to to maintain the entertainment factor for you folks. Ooh. We did get it though. That was a win. There's a lot of big jumps in this track. A lot of really big jumps and, and big airtime. Which is part of uh, how you can keep your speed, because you, the, the more airtime you have in the air, um, the faster you, you the, the more your, your boost is maintained when you hit the ground. And you can use um, your drifting to maintain to maintain your speed. Brief hiccup in the stream there. Thankfully it wasn't during the race itself, it was during the loading screen. So no one cared and no one noticed. Until I said it, now you noticed.
Then we'll have the Komodo Joe cutscene. I'm not as much of a fan of that Coco skin as I was the Holiday one. Mad Hops indeed. I like that he's using his tires to sharpen his sword. I also, again, I, I really like the idea that these bosses all just, they they are also trying to save the ruler from Oxide, they just think they're better at doing it than you would be. Like, no, everyone here, even Cortex and the villains are here to save the world because they don't want, they don't want to, the world that they want to conquer to be destroyed. But, they all think they're the best at it. They think that what whoever you are, generic racer, who could also end up actually being Komodo Joe, um, you aren't worthy of it. But it's time for a boss race, boys. Boys and girls. And everywhere in between. Oh, wait, you didn't even get a power up! Usually they get a power up before they can actually do that. They only need the one, though. Oh, I hate this bend. There you go, get ahead. At least he can't throw them forwards. Oh, come now. Also, because they're, uh, they're already jumping, I can't, uh, jump them off. I also, I I can't help but notice that in this remake, they remake, the, the boss music is different for each of the bosses. Like, there's a, there's a, like, a reptilian aspect to his music in this version of the, of the, uh, of the game, which is really, really cool touch. I might lose this. Being right behind him is bad! Alright, I got juiced up. That should help. Dodge this. Dodge that. Holy shit, we won. Maybe you could beat me if you stop dragging your feet. Yeah, Kamo Dragon versus the real dragon, and the real dragon won, naturally. Poser thought he could beat a dragon, and he was proven incorrect. Good job animating these scenes. Enough to outrace Oxide. We're going to lose our planet, and it'll be all your fault. They did a really good job animating these cutscenes. I also would like teleportation powers. That that I would I agree with you. I would that would be fucking sick. That would be sick, Xeno Christ. 
Plus, it would save on my commute times when we eventually get out of COVID times. I don't commute anymore. I barely leave my house anymore. This is also a good animation. But we don't we don't go there just yet. We we do CTR challenges and relic races. And these are these are fun. Um, the Dragon Mines one's gonna suck, but the rest of these are pretty fun. Actually, Tiny Arena might also not be the great greatest because it's just it's a very long track. It's four, it was a like you saw that that was a four minute race. That's that's a lot of time for one track. So if you lose, like that's that's just you just wasted some time. Those are always showing up in CTR races, I've noticed. I wonder what that's all about. I am aware that one of the uh, CTR tokens is hidden behind the shortcut. So we are going to... Okay. Okay, actually. That's fine. Once we get the letters, it's just a regular race, so we can just worry about catching up. Oh, there is no uh, requirement to do that shortcut for the CTR challenge. That's good to know. Didn't get the T. Okay, I can just race most normally for this then. That's that's good. Like the 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 three sea trailers are not that far out of the way. Last one there's a north. Not getting any airtime. I'm gonna restart this race. Yeah. You know, there's something real cold about a frozen polar bear. I agree, you know, Christ. Yeah, that wasn't going well, so we gotta try again. That's okay, though. We got time. Still didn't get the R. That's fine. Just put this new miss still here in that nearest spot. Key polar, you don't deserve love, life, and respect. If we can get a sufficient enough lead, we can try for these letters with relative impunity. Missed it. I had to try not jumping. What really sucks is trying to get the ideal amount of airtime 
for these letters. That was close. Missed it again. Whew. There we go. I mean, that shortcut fairly consistently. That's good to know. Alright, that's the T. I just need the R. If we miss the R, we might as well restart because, like, even being the race won't do me any, any good. Oh, fuck. That's bad. Got it. I just have to win. Thankfully, we still have plenty of time. Well, you know what? That's the one I laid, isn't it? That is the one that I laid, so I only have myself to blame. This is a good power-up to have at the end finale. Because I can't get hit. I almost played myself, but I did win. Token is mine. I might be able to afford, um, fixed Rilla Room now. In all seriousness, we're making, we're making really good time. Like, this are only in the second recording, and we're... Starting to collect the tr the CTR relics and the um, CTR tro uh, coins and the relics for the third level. I was expecting to take much more time to go through this game than I currently am. But we still got a relic race to do for Blizzard Bluff, so... Or Polar Pass, so let's go for the relic. I ain't got a gold or a platinum yet, and I don't really care. That's someone else's problem. I'm just here to clear the game. I'm not Kadokurus, so I can't get platinum relics in every single uh, crash game. All of the crash games. All levels and all crash games. I, I can't do that. That's not me. Bloody hell, I can't believe that man did that. Ugh, that, that sounds like actual torture. For real. Now we're going for a Sapphire because I don't, I don't have that kind of patience. Plus that would take like 50 billion streams. Time is three minutes. I'm curious about that. We did get that. That's good.
Oh yes, the sliding to get multiple boxes on the ice challenge. Perfect. Wow, I'm not getting any of those boxes. drift into one of these. Alright, we're making pretty good time on this track. Any of those boxes a single time. Good to know. Ooh. Get that box in compensation. I got a whole minute. So I feel like I'm in pretty good shape. That's bad. Well, I got 45 seconds left. That three will help. Mitigate, not completely undo that damage. Oh yeah, we're good. Oh yeah, we're good. Not as good as the last time, but that's because we had some hiccups. You notice at this point I switched to playing as Crunch in my original run. That's because I unlocked him at that point. What can I say? I like the strong boys. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good in avoiding those micro transactions. Eh, let's just do this. Or at least try to do this, and that might. Depending on how long this takes me to be the end of the stream. I would I just want to get this over with more than anything else, because this is this these are miserable challenges. Rocky Road. My favorite ice cream flavor. Look at all these nitro crates. Whoa, I'm gonna restart. Engine gas. That's pretty funny. Ooh. 
some maneuvering you gotta do through this one. This, this ate into my time completely. I don't know what the routing for this is supposed to be. to start off with. There's a lot of time on that clock, though. One. Two. Turn. Three. Four. Five. Yeah. Six. Seven. Nothing to get over here, so. Eight. Nine. And we'll drop. And. Oh, they're gone. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Six more left. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. And they're right here. Damn it. Looks like I've got some things to do. Damn it, so close. I think I'm onto something though. I think I have a mostly correct route. Missed. I know what the last crystal I missed was. Alright, one, two, reverse, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then we can go over here. Thirteen. And they should all be on this little island over here. Fourteen. Fifteen. 17 18 Yeah, there we go if you stop dragging your feet. I missed counting one at some point But yeah, that, that actually, again It's all about routing um, And part of me, and part of this is me Memorizing my routes from Other times I've done this but man, it feels good to not have to worry about doing that ever again until I replay this game the next time, which will probably not be on stream. So it actually isn't ever again. I don't know why I said that. Because um, I am going to play this game again at some point. I always do. Like This is one of the things I like to play. So 
Odds are I will actually end up doing that a second, another time. But until then, that's the last time I have to do this. Also, yes, nitros are very scary. Um, not as scary as they are in the in the actual Crash games, but scary nonetheless. Hmm. I think we have time for one, like, a quick Relic race. So we're going to do it on um, Lizard Bluff, since that's not a very long course. And that will be probably the last thing we do for the night. But we've done a lot in the time span that we have. I want to do this one particularly because this one's going to be an easy one to kind of end the night on. I, I don't expect a whole lot of difficult um, or precise platforming or, or maneuvering I need to do to get this done. So it should be a relatively harmless and easy relic to, to finish the night off with. One minute 30. Let's see if we can arrange that. Oh! Boulder Dash. Just trying to go as fast as possible to negate the fact that I am missing boxes left and right. See that box there, but that's alright. I, I don't um, have any particular need to acquire it. You also notice that when I'm power sliding after getting a turbo, I am faster than usual. Go away. didn't even beat my previous time. I think that is a good place to call it, though, once we uh, load back in and save our game. That means we got three rel um, two relics left and three CTR tokens left in this stage. We can move on to the last stage. Might even be able to do that whole thing from start to finish, although we... Um, even then, we'll still have to do one more episode, so we're probably seeing this is going to be a four-part series. Yeah, most four parts. No, almost definitely four parts. But once we're done that, we're, we're all good to go. I'm glad I did this, though. Um, oh, wait, the save screen is... Let me just make sure we're saved, and then... Once we make sure we have our save file... Perfect. And at this point... We are all done for the night. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. 
uh, take care. Um, remember that black lives matter. Uh, all lives can't matter until black lives matter. Wear your mask, social distance, wash your hands, and stay safe. And I will see you uh, next week. Because I actually I managed to switch my on-call with someone else. So I will take... I will be streaming next week and I'll take the following week off. So until then, see ya.